Hello and welcome. I'm Craig Harrington and the topic of today's discussion is free trade. Free trade is supposed to be a global mechanism for equality. It's supposed to be a way of increasing the standard of living for everyone involved. In practice, however, our unfettered system of free trade does nothing more than placate the corporate elite interests around the globe. It leaves out everyone else. It increases the gap between the haves and the have-nots. We need a better system, and we can start by repairing and reining in the free trade system in the United States. In the U.S., we have an annual import deficit of $800 billion. Every year, the United States economy loses $800 billion to overseas. During the Bush deregulation, the U.S. economy lost a total of $4.8 trillion in just eight years. Those numbers look to grow in the future as the United States becomes even less productive and more reliant on foreign imports. The United States needs a better model for productivity, and we need to look no further than two of our largest trading competitors, Japan and China. Both Japan and China have a captive market system in which they have used guided capitalism to craft an economy which fosters both domestic production and domestic consumption. They do all that they can through the use of tariffs, duties, and other regulations to block as many imports as possible from entering their market. The United States has no system like this, and we could mimic the system employed by the Japanese and the Chinese to great effect. We annually import over $1 trillion worth of goods, and we annually import over $800 billion more than we export abroad. By putting tariffs on imports, the government would simultaneously encourage domestic production and bring tens of billions of dollars into its coffers every year. Another way of raising money and chipping away at the national debt would be to increase taxes. For the last 30 years, the government has decreased taxes while increasing spending, and it's currently running out of money. Another responsible thing to do would be to penalize the companies that insource and outsource labor. We cannot keep outsourcing our production while insourcing cheap labor from overseas. It undermines the American worker, it undermines the middle class, and it undermines our economy as a whole. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington with EconomyInCrisis.org News. Wake up, America! Open up your eyes! Wake up, America! Wake up! Produced by EconomyInCrisis.org